Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and a question that came in and I've had that question a few times before. So this is the back of a Kenwood R5000. Um, of course, you might see that we talked about antenna connectors and of course I was talking about this SO39, which of course needs a PL259 plug to uh, for the antenna. Uh, and of course on the right side here, there's little connectors which are antenna connectors also and the question was what's the difference between both of them so first of all um, when we plug a antenna to a radio there are several ways to do so some radios don't have antenna jacks a lot of portables don't often what we'll do is just clip a wire to the telescopic and it usually works fine then you got radios portable radios with antenna connectors uh, a lot of them use, of course, a um, kind of an old-style Walkman plug or a uh, small uh, one uh, plug for the um, antenna. And then you get, of course, other radios. And there are quite a few radios out there that have several types of antenna connectors. And often they'll have a true connector and some um, either screws or spring-loaded clips type that you just you know enter a wire um, the reason for that is to have the ability to have some so for one multiple antennas on one radio often there's a switch between the two uh, connectors so for example here there's antenna one antenna two so I could from the front panel switch between here and here that's nice it gives you the possibility to have more than one antenna but the connectors that are like this, uh, either you know with little screws or are uh, little spring-loaded uh, type connectors, are meant most of the time for wire antennas that come in directly to the radio. Uh, what's the difference? Actually, the wire antennas have a very very high impedance. What's that mean? A, a antenna any type of antenna has a certain impedance which is measured in homes and depending on how it is designed and constructed it varies a lot from one end to the other the typical connector like this is usually made for 50 ohms which is kind of a standard uh, on VHF UHF there are a lot of them that are um, based on 75 ohms also and so um, usually you try to match that as much as possible. And the matching will be done with different things. First of all, the antenna itself could resonate and match 50 ohms with a uh, coax that will actually bring in a uh, coax cable that will bring in the um, signal to your radio. And usually that will match correctly without any, you know, needing anything to do so. Um, there are cases, for example, my Yezu has an NFED antenna. An NFED antenna technically is more of a what we call a high Z antenna. It's closer to what you would plug here. So it actually has a ballon, which is a um, 49 to 1 ballon. And what that does is actually that little transformer, if you want, in the uh, box will match or change that a very high impedance and match it closer to 50 ohms so that I can use it with a transceiver. For receive, even if you didn't have a ballon, it's not that bad in shortwave. Even if there's a really big mismatch, yeah, the signal could be slightly less um, than a good match. So you might have a weaker signal, but not by much, honestly, in shortwave frequencies, um, and that's the fun part of shortwave, those low frequencies, they kind of, you know, don't really care about a mismatch. They don't, you know, behave that differently. And we're talking here for receive only. So um, on transmit, it's another story. You really need to match. But on receive... It doesn't matter that much. Honestly, a lot of people go overly crazy with this. Uh, every time I talk about it, everybody's like, 
oh yeah, you really got the match and blah, blah, blah. No, stop thinking that. It doesn't really change much. And actually, if you have a mismatch or not, you might not even notice it on an S meter if you would actually switch between a matched and mismatched exact same antenna. So, um, but we, we try to match as much as possible. And that's why these connectors exist. If you have a long wire antenna, you might actually connect it here because 500 ohms will be closer to the, what we call a high Z antenna or high impedance antenna, which is typically all wire antennas. So uh, that's why there is these types of connectors. And also, depending on how noisy it is, some people, and actually on my Kenwood, uh, for a while I ran a wire directly to this 500 ohms impedance here before I actually installed something different and used a coax. But, um, you know, it's just two ways of connecting antennas. And usually that's what they do is the... Connectors are for high impedance uh, wire antennas, and the antenna connector itself will often be used for uh, more of a matched antenna with a coax cable. Notice that there's a 50 ohms here, which matches 50 ohms here. So you would technically be able to connect uh, any antenna that is a, say I would have my NFED uh, sent in um, through a simple wire, I could connected here, although it would change probably the properties of the antenna, but I could connect it to the 50 ohms instead of 500. A good uh, test, if you want to see the difference that it a mismatched antenna does, if you have a wire antenna connected directly to the radio, switch from that 500 to that 50, and look at your S meter. You'll notice that if you have one S unit difference, it's probably going to be the really the, the biggest difference you'll see as a mismatch like I said on shortwave for receive isn't that much of a problem but if you have a transceiver that's a different story transmitting matching the antenna is extremely important or else you could actually end up with troubles with the uh, transmitter the transmitter and uh, that's not a good thing so uh, this mostly meant for wire antennas this mostly meant for good matched antennas, uh, and that's pretty much the way it is on most radios. That's why they have two types of connectors available. If you would go into uh, the Expedition, for example, and you power it with batteries, and you just have a simple wire antenna, and you're in the middle of nowhere, well, use the connectors here. No need for a coax. Just use the connectors here, especially if you're in a, the middle of the woods where it's very quiet, doesn't matter. You don't need a shielded cable to bring in the antenna because there's no noise around you. So I'll be fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.